a steam locomotive and weeks of planning come together. And sounds of work hey signal that it's springtime for this 1915 machine. With running gear disconnected, the engine was raised with hydraulic jacks to provide access to loco springs, shown here in yellow, on each axle. When removed, springs can be heat treated to return them to correct operation. The work of removing springs involves difficult access, as explained by project manager, John Bennett. So essentially what's happening here, we're taking out the springs. As you can see, there's not a lot of space to move in here. I've, I've just been up the front uh, for about an hour and a half over in between all these pipes. I've got the split pins out of there, so I, I can't even like tap the bolts out. Something's happening with the equalising beams. The process of lifting the heavy loco used hydraulics and bridge timbers. Here's our jacking and packing system. So what we've actually got is the jacks here. So we've got a centre line here marked in. Uh, there's some uh, big pads welded on from the original SMR days. And these have come in really handy for jacking. So we've got two 50 tonne jacks front and rear. And as we jack it up, we pig sty. So um, these are really strong timbers for bridges. So we borrowed those and I've cut up some sleepers and we've got some of these uh, pig styes here just to spread the load. So basically uh, we'll jack it up off there as we've done. We've moved it up approximately uh, from there to there. So that's about, bit, about 90 millimeters. And as we've gone, we've just packed and jacked. So basically, once we've got it up to the height of where we need the loco, we take the, let the jacks down on the pig styes, and that's it, nothing more. It's all stationary, it's not gonna move anywhere, it's rock solid. Uh, it's probably one of the best jacking systems I've actually seen. So kudos to everyone that's assisted here. An important part of the job is the careful and precise numbering of every part and its place on the locomotive, as explained by project consultant Nigel Woolley. This is the way South Maitland used to label things. Right leading bogey, RLB, that's what that stands for. Right leading bogey, and that's the back pin, that's the front pin. So we're keeping all the pins with the holes, everything's matched. So there's no confusion when it goes back together. We even marked the spring up so that we know what side it's from and uh, what's the front side of the spring just in case there's any dimensional differences. The job involves narrow access under the engine as parts are undone one by one. Look at that. Done with effort and experience. There we go. In a most difficult, unique workspace. One by one, as the hours drift by, the springs are gradually freed. This extraordinary work is a tribute to the skills and efforts of the dedicated team involved. On the left side, right? A major yeah. step, one of many to come, in the road to restoration for number 18. So that was a whole day task, uh, just to get the springs out. We're looking very much forward to seeing the springs all done and put back one of those rare occasions where it might take you 10 days for one day work but uh putting them back together again should go in a lot easier now we know what the system is to learn more visit 10classlocos.com.au